What's up guys? Today's topic is a product made by Hyger. It is the double sponge filter made by Hyger. So um, they sent me this sponge filter to kind of try out. This is kind of like the first time I'm even seeing this sponge filter. Um, you guys know that through the years, I've always been a sponge filter geek. I have like live streams where I deep dive into taking them apart. I have been on board with sponge filters since day one. And I don't have any mechanical filters running in the house right now. Everything is sponge filters. So that blows a lot of people's minds. So let's come over here to the table and we'll unbox this beast. <clears throat> the other table's full of house plants, so we're gonna do it here. So this is uh, the Hyger Aquarium Biochemical Sponge Filter HG908. Um, and what interests me about this sponge filter is it's different because all the other sponge filters don't have what this has, which is essentially is a little a little spot for mechanic or a biological media, which is ceramic balls. It looks like. So upon opening this, um, this looks like just like any other sponge filter. I'm guessing this goes on here. Yeah. All right. So what's cool about this, like I was saying, is I can put ceramic media inside these little canisters which is kind of different upon, oh look, there's a uh, extra sponge filter pad in there. That's kind of cool. I gotta say a lot of like the cheaper Chinese sponge filters don't have that. So uh, yeah, what we're gonna do is just put in the ceramic balls. I'm guessing it's just like small little lava rock. I'll probably rinse them first. Rinse them? Yeah. What do you mean? Like it rinse in the tank. Yeah, we'll run through the sink. So, okay, goes here. Ooh, that sounds weird. So yeah, then we're gonna take the sticker off. It says spare sponge inside it with an exclamation mark. The exclamation mark wasn't necessary. So yeah, that looks pretty cool, I gotta say. And it adds, obviously, some biological filtration. I didn't say mechanical filtration, right? What I meant was biological, because this is obviously uh, ceramic, and that's biological filtration. These little balls remind me of like the little candy sixlets. I think I put too much in the other one. What are you gonna do? Taking the sticker off. I guess what we'll do is we'll just figure out a tank to set this up in. It's pretty cool. I will say that this thing is ginormous in comparison to like some of my smaller Chinese Chinese ones. Um, that thing's a boss, I gotta say. I wish I had a, uh, a comparison, a size comparison. Maybe we can grab one when we set it up. So yeah, we'll figure out a tank to throw this in. And uh, yeah, I gotta say I'm pretty impressed so far because this thing looks pretty beastly. We're gonna set up this Hiker sponge filter. As you can see, uh, my evil cat, as you can see, he's constantly destructing things. Um, he nibbled on the sponge, the sponges themselves. So that kind of sucks. Uh, that's what happens when you leave out your valuable stuff for a couple days and you live with cats, they destroy everything. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna set it up on this tank. This is kind of gonna be one of my show tanks here. Um, uh, I'm really excited to kind of see how the ceramic balls work. What I did here is I already set up the airline uh, because uh, I have a quad air pump up there. It has four outputs and I have one, two, three, four tanks here and it just powers these tanks. So I just kind of snuck in this airline over here and I guess we're just gonna see how it works. Uh, when we when you guys set these up, what I tend to do is kind of just put the sponges in here by themselves and squeeze squeeze the air out. And if you guys have a cat to kind of help you do all this, that <laughs> really helps. Because I don't know what I'm doing on my own, so I really kind of need his help here. We're kind of unsure what we're gonna what route we're gonna go with on this tank, but we do have the substrate in there ready to go. It's like a super deep uh potting soil bed i'm excited about that this beast of a sponge filter would work perfect i think in here 
So just hooking up this little line right here. Sometimes these are bare to get on. It's like, sometimes I wonder if they do like a tapered end on those, if it would help, but. All right, so there we are. We have some power, some airflow. What I tend to do is put the output right at the, the water surface. That way it kind of uh, does its thing there. So I think it looks pretty good. Um, we'll see, I know usually sponge filters take about 30 days to kind of start to grow bacteria, beneficial bacteria. So what we'll have to do is we'll have to cycle this tank. We might do a fishless cycle or a fish in cycle. Maybe we'll use some products. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with the Hyger sponge filter, the, the Hyger dual sponge filter, I think they call it, or the double sponge filter. It's a lot bigger than a lot of my other sponge filters, the cheaper versions of them. So uh, I really like this. Uh, if you are interested in checking out the product, I will throw a product link in the video description. This is essentially sold on Amazon. So uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments and please subscribe and check out my other videos.